What is up everyone? My name is LL Chaos LL, or simply preferably Chaos. And today I'll be bringing you all the very first ever video to be uploaded on our new YouTube channel, Game Plan Nation. So due to uh, many requests, and I also personally thought it'd be quite interesting to talk about this, uh, today I'll be discussing about uh, my common arm story. So I'll get right into it. I first began playing this game back in uh, 2009, when um, my friend from school had introduced me to the game. Um, so at first I started playing Elimination, probably just like everyone who ever started playing. I doubt anyone got right into uh, the whole quarantine uh, quarantine mode, not to cite the, uh, the actual game uh, at first. I'm sure everyone went through uh, the Elimination process at first. Uh, so I still remember my first ever Elimination game was on, uh, was on the map Two Towers. And I remember that game, I was absolutely garbage. I probably don't even... Well, I mean, I don't quite remember, but I probably didn't even get a kill that game. But what I do remember is that right after that game, I got off Common Arms, and I deleted it entirely off my uh, my desktop. But the next day, coming uh, home from school, I I wasn't I felt like I wasn't quite done with the game. I was still I still wanted to play, and I I was eager to do so. So I downloaded the game and uh, I got right back into it. Um, and then at that point in time, I was playing on the account I had previously created, uh, my first ever account, LL Chaos LL, but this time uh, it's felt like the way it is today, but with a zero instead of a capital O. Um, and uh, unfortunately though, that account was uh, was hacked um, at the rank of second. I still remember at that uh, when I was playing at that time, uh, I had heard what NX was. I knew it was some kind of currency you would obtain and uh, you'd be able to uh, to, uh, to buy certain gear and weapons to enhance your gameplay and um, I was I was interested in obtaining this and I wanted to to get some any way I possibly could so when I heard that when I saw people uh, advertising on megaphones that this this site you could go to or these sites to get free NX I was tempted to do so uh, but unfortunately later would I know that I no longer had access to my accounts so then I made the account that I play on today LL Chaos LL with the capital O instead of uh, zero. Start. So my first ever uh, elimination clan that I was really in was uh, the clan I made with um, with a good friend of mine. It was called uh, Rebel Gamers, the elimination clan. Uh, we were level four. Um, I think we at one point in time we had fairly good amount of members. We had 50 members or more. Uh, we had an 80% clan war win, and I mean those are definitely some good times that uh, that. Uh, that caused great great memories that I'll always remember, no doubt. Um, and then I got into quarantine mode, the quarantine, uh, the quarantine mode once again. Um, I'm fairly late in my career. I think I was around the rank of of major, so I wasn't I was I wasn't that that much of a noob back then. So I started playing uh, that mode at that rank. Um, I probably just started playing like everyone else did. Uh, camping in uh, the safe room, and I probably just got introduced to free running by um, simply when our defenses were breached, I would just get into the water and start running like everyone else, and that's probably how I just started playing quarantine and free running from that point on. Then my first ever quarantine clan I was in was the Final Moments, which some of you probably have already heard of or know of, um, but I don't really consider that to be the, the clan, one of the one of the clans I was ever in. Uh, because of the short time I remember being in that clan for. Then uh, later on I left and made my own clan with with uh, Kwame. Kwame. Sorry, I'm not too sure how to pronounce your name, man. But uh, you guys probably know who he is. So that's it. I made last one standing with him. Um, you probably, you guys probably know what what clan last one standing is. It was it was a fairly known clan back at that time, I believe. But looking back at uh, at my past in that clan, I'm not too sure whether or not to be grateful or to be ashamed of everything. I mean, I'm definitely ashamed of how my attitude was. I would rage, curse, swear, and I just overall couldn't control myself. And I mean, just making myself look bad and looking back at my past, that's definitely not the kind of person I would have wanted to be today. But I'm definitely grateful for the fact that during my time in that clan, I was able to uh, to refine my skill, just become uh, become more active in the in the whole uh, quarantine community, and I had the chance to meet some great individuals. So then, after that clan, 
um, I decided to uh, try out for uh, Quarantine Elite, which I was probably interested in joining, to be honest. Uh, probably due to the fact that I'd seen a few four bosses montages, but I'm not I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember that was that was a few years ago, but that's probably why the reason why I ever wanted to join that clan. Um, and probably. Uh, not many of you know this, but the first time I actually ever applied to the clan, I was denied. Uh, back then, you well, one of the requirements was that you needed three quarantine honor medals, and when I was applying, I didn't have any. So, of course, I was Round denied, start. but I didn't give up. I kept on trying, and uh, the second time around when I applied, I was accepted. And I was in that clan for around uh, six to seven months, maybe less, maybe more, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Six, uh, but then during five, the end of my time in that four, clan, uh, three, Core Boss two, uh, decided two, that one. he no longer had time for the game, he was busy with other activities, and he decided to quit. And it's really that point in time when I realized that this game is not about being the best, being in the best clan, or having as much fame as he possibly can, but it's really all about being with your friends. Because once he quit, I mean, I started to lose, kind of, I started to lose um, motivation to play the game, and I didn't. I wasn't enjoying it as much as I used to. So I'll just, it's really important that you spend time with your friends and don't try to join the best clan. Just be with your friends. And if, if you don't have any friends who still play the game, then you can go for any clan because, I mean, you'll have the opportunity to meet new people for sure. Um, and that's it. Uh, then once he quit, um, I realized that I did have to be with my friends or else the game was starting to lose meaning to me. And at that point in time, uh, my other good friends were Kwame, Kwame and uh, Crested. So I left Quarantine Elite and I joined uh, Compromise. Um, but then later on, Core Boss actually started getting a little more active in, um, in the game Combat Arms. And I knew we had previously discussed about possibly making a clan. And I knew that if we were to make a clan, he would be, he would be tempted to play. Since he would have to, to like to be a leader in the clan, and he'd have to uh, to be there to make sure everything was in place and worked properly. So we made the clan game plan, uh, which we're in today, and uh, we're very happy to have uh, to have made this clan. Uh, a bunch of great guys in this clan, and we're very grateful for uh, all the hard work they have done to make us uh, to put us at the top with uh, the rest of the core team clans. So um, I mean, I think there are two main morals to uh, get out of this story, guys. I mean, like I emphasized a lot on already, that be with your friends, I mean, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And I hope you realize it sooner than later, because I know personally that I realized it late in my career. And I would have done things differently uh, in Combat Arms if I would have thought the way I did today. So really guys, just focus on your friends. And if you don't have any, there's always the opportunity to make new ones. And a second point I want to, em to put uh, emphasi emphasis on, sorry, is that... No matter what position you are today, no matter how you see yourself as being a good player or a terrible person, not a terrible person, I mean a person with terrible attitude, there's always the opportunity to change. And I'm, I would say I'm the perfect example from of that. I started off and I just had terrible attitude and I managed to change myself and I'm proud to uh, say that I'm a good player today. So thank you all for, uh, for your time, guys. Uh, it was a huge honor making this first video, and I look forward to seeing you soon next time. Thanks.